Hello, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Orchestral Tools latest sample library, Salu. Claim your experience and inward journey into the finest details of sound, Salu offers a range of versatile instruments and soundscapes recorded in Estonia. Priced at €399, Euros, excluding VAT, Salu offers, features over 200 gigabytes of samples compressed down to 89 gigabytes. One thing I really like about Orchestral Tools sign libraries is the ability to purchase individual instruments, in this case starting at €22. Euros. Now before we jump into this review, I just want to quickly thank Orchestral Tools for sending me over a copy of this library to check out, and I apologise for not getting this video out sooner, I've been suffering from a terrible flu, and that might explain why my voice sounds a bit unusual today. But let's jump in and let's take a look at this amazing library. So here we have Orchestral Tools Sign Player. Now in the past I found Sign to be a very unreliable and buggy uh, uh, player. However, since I've got the latest version which I had to get to install Salu here, I found it actually has run pretty alright and most of the bugs that I had experienced I haven't experienced with this new version. And so I've loaded up quickly the string quartet. And as you can see, I only have some of the microphones downloaded here. There are more. And that's a really amazing thing about uh, the sign player. You can choose exactly how many microphones you want to download and what instruments. And I find that really, really useful, the, the, uh, that, uh, that anacate approach to be able to pick what it is that you want and what you do not want is just fantastic. So let's take a listen to the string quartet sustains legato For a string quartet sample library, that is pretty alright, however the legato I do think is a little bit funny. If we switch over just to the normal sustains, I think we can get a much more beautiful tone. I think that really allows for the whole a vision of what this string quartet is meant to sound like come alive and it really is a very beautiful turn especially if you added a little bit of reverb like black hole for example my favorite reverb i picked this up a little while ago now and really i just find it fantastic really just adds such a beautiful wide tone to it. we'll turn that off for the moment though like so I'm not going to play every single articulation here because there's loads and there's a lot to get through, but I'm going to skip over to the portamento longs here. Ah, oh, staccato. Sounds okay to me. Okay to me. And the, and the pizzicato. Of course, we have tremolo in there as well. Oh, that is beautiful. That transition though from the soft layers to the loud layers is really quite noticeable. It's sort of there or isn't there. It's no sort of in between. We'll take a listen to some of the swells long.
Now that is a beautiful, beautiful sounding swirl, and I'll definitely be using that. Really like how that sounds. We're going to take a quick look at the arpeggios minor. Of course, there's a time machine option there as well. So you can adjust it to the tempo of your project. Especially when you turn off that release, that's really, really nice very experimental things you can do there. Of course we have the repetitions which are really really nice for those really textural textual textural sort of projects you might be working on. We've got crescendos here, ugly regular as well. And a regular slow ascent. And then another irregular. So that sounds really beautiful. So there's a really nice range of articulations there. So it's really nice to see all of those. I'm going to head over to the voices. We're going to skip the solo violin, solo cello, and we're going to take a quick look at the choirs here because I really want to check these out because what I've heard, these are phenomenal. So as you can see, loading times are not that bad. Sometimes it gets a little bit hung up on some things. The string quartet did take a little bit longer to load. But as you can see, for the most part, it does load pretty quickly. Especially considering I'm running this off a rather old uh, hard drive. So there we go. It's just slowly loading in the rest of these articulations here. I did wish, though, it would load in the normal sustains there, but here we go, here's the sustains legato. Of course though, you're quite likely to be using uh, chords for this, so we'll take a listen to the normal sustain dispatch. So it's clipping a bit really, really loud, but absolutely beautiful. Really reminds me of the choir in the soundtrack for The King, which is an absolutely phenomenal Netflix film. If you haven't watched that, I'd really recommend it about King Henry V. Really, really good film, and the soundtrack to it is just phenomenal. I'd really, really recommend it. We've got some sustained pads here. Some syllables long, sir.
really, really beautiful. Very, very dry sand though, so really I would recommend adding your own reverb. But you can get a really, really nice sound there. Let's move on to the syllable short. Really beautiful, really lovely sort of roll there. And we'll go on to the swells quickly here. Really, really beautiful. I, I never have the words to describe how beautiful I find choirs, but that one is is just oh, it's out of this world. Let's take a listen to the special articulations here. So this is all sorts of like buzzings and um, regular stuff. So all that sort of stuff. So it's going to be really interesting to take a listen to it and see what it sounds like once it's loaded in. Again, I'm actually quite impressed with the loading times. Some sign libraries I've had in the past, like their uh, Berlin console Dino strings, that would take ages. We're talking five minutes for a single staccato patch, etc. It just was, it was just insane. So let's take a listen to this. really like that, it's really textural, I could definitely see something with that, but really beautiful, let's listen to the regular crescendo. It really reminds me of sort of circular bowing, I don't know if you've ever heard that on um, violins and cellos, but it's that sort of technique, but it's done with the voice, which just makes it so amazing, and here's some drifting. Due to those sort of horror film like things, if you may be doing that sort of stuff. Got some Douglas Sandos. That is really, really cool. I don't know how you describe that, but I like the sound of it. We've got some um, irregular primes in English here. I could really see this sort of stuff in Inside Number 9. I don't know if you've watched that show, but uh, Christian Henson from Swift Holder, he scored it and... I could definitely see this sort of textual stuff in there. We've got that same patch in Estonian. Which sounds even cooler, that is brilliant. <laughs> got some irregular repetitions. That almost reminds us of some George Fitzgerald stuff. We've got some... We'll go to the TikTok, I want to know what that is. Oh, it's literally them saying TikTok. Listen to that. <laughs> We've got some cluster pads here as well. Always nice to have a few clusters. And we've got some cascades here. Pretty cool. Again, if you're doing that horror stuff, absolutely brilliant. Let's take a listen to the uh, male ensemble. Let's see how that compares to the female one, which we've just been listening to. Still loading in just a little bit. I wish it would load in the sustains first, but obviously it loads it in in the order it does in. But we'll take a listen to the legato here. Keys, but 
really, really nice deep turn. So it listen to normal sustains. Really beautiful turn. I have, I'm I'm in love with that. So listen to the um, syllables long. short version absolutely stunning really beautiful tone they're saying that I mean, it might be the room it might be the singers just absolutely amazing <laughs> Just beautiful. I'll tell you, listen to some of these swells. Absolutely beautiful, and we've got some humming here as well. That is just so, so beautiful. I want to try that with the black hole on quickly. Just, just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. I'm, I'm in love with that tone. Let's take a listen to the special articulations here, because those male choir longs, just beautiful. There's something I'd heard that in Talon, which a lot of people consider sort of the sister library to this one, that the choir was is just absolutely phenomenal. But in this, this is just as phenomenal. This is just brilliant. I'm in love with the sound of this choir. And there's so many different things that it could be used on. It it has such vers- versatility, and you can use it for the horror stuff, for these special articulations. You can use it for the soft stuff. It's just phenomenal. <laughs> And it can do both loud and quiet, which is just brilliant. Let's listen to the drifting. Lovely. (laughs) 
<laughs> that reminds me of something, but I can't remember what it is. From some sort of like uh, film, a comedy, just that. <laughs> can't remember what though, but very iconic. And of course, we've got these solo altars here, which I'll just quickly load up the uh, the Gato and we'll take a listen to that. Oh, it's still loading in. I haven't loaded up this patch before, so it might take a little bit longer. But there we go. Incredibly quiet, but beautiful tone. We'll listen to the solo bass as well. Doing the O. Oh. There's also uh, of course, and we have crescendos and swells, but I'm not going to go into those. So we'll take a listen to this too. Oh. 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 It does, however, only seem to be one dynamic layer, which is quite a shame, really. Oh. Oh. Beautiful turn, though. No, I reckon it will sit in really nicely with the rest of the choir there. Let's take a listen to some of the plucked instruments here. We'll listen to the canal. Really nice range. We'll just let that load in. Lots of articulations as well on these, on the piano, on the harp, on the canal. Really nice range of articulations. So we'll jump into these and have a quick explore. I am ever so slightly conscious of the time because I don't want to go on a walk this afternoon before it gets a bit too rainy. So I do want to make sure we cover everything in this video. I'll turn back hole off there. And the staccato, so we'll listen to the harp now. I hope this harp sounds beautiful because I'm a big fan of the harp and I am hoping this will sound pretty good. arpeggios there as well and we'll take how I listen to the piano and again even the piano has a nice range of articulations and it's really nice to see these instruments so deeply sampled it is really it's something that is just so nice to have
really beautiful piano. Really love that tone. It's I don't know if it is a tape piano, but it sort of sounds like one to me. Just beautiful. We've got these noises here. I want to try that out. Really cool. You can definitely do some sort of music croquet with that. Let's go on to the percussion here. So I'm not going to play all of the percussions. I will play the tube of the bells. I'm a big fan of the tube of the bells. I try and include it in a lot of my music. I really do like the way it sounds. So we'll take a listen to the tube of the bells. We'll take a listen to the vibraphone. And we'll take a listen to the timpani. Because those are my favourite percussion instruments. And then we'll move on to some of the process sounds. And then I'll sort of give an overview of the library. And share with you my opinions on it. So there's tube of the bells with soft mounts. really like the resonances with that soft brush, that is really cool. Really, really cool sounding too with a bell. Say this to this vibraphone. Big fan of the vibraphone. I think it's got such a soft and mellow tone, but it can be used in such a versatile way. It's just beautiful. I really like that the, it's got that random vibrato in there. It really gives it a sort of a sort of a broken tone. It's like a broken toy almost, but it's just just beautiful. That vibrato is just phenomenal. Let's still listen to the single bows. Just beautiful, absolutely stunning. And we've got these texture random vibratos as well. so many uses for that and again I can really see it in something like Inside Number 9 one of those sorts of shows where it's very mysterious really would fit here's the timpani ah uh, 
I'm not really sure if this is meant to be a timpani or what, but that seems bowls and timpani mallets, so I'm a bit unsure. That is really cool. That is a phenomenal sound. We'll have to use that one. Have to use that one. We'll ta quickly take a look at how the process sounds. Just one or two from each. So that's icy one. We've got grainy mist. I really like that one, that sort of reminds me of Blade Runner and currently where I am it's really misty outside so that one really works quite well. Let's move on to Evolving, I'm just going to pick one at random, we'll go for Fast Harp. Oh, there we go. That really reminds me of some sort of Scandi Noir film. Something like that, you know, you're in this snowy forest. Would work very well. Really like the sound of that too. Let's move on to the dream state. Arctic frisson. That's really nice, that fire low down. We've had dead branches. That sort of gives me Mellotron tape machine vibes. Really quite like it. And leaf upon leaf. These textures are just amazing. I would love to have a video on how exactly they made these. I always find it really interesting seeing about how they've gone about creating them. And here we've got Freya. That's a strange one. I don't know if I like that one. We'll go to Solstice. Very deep and intense. Scold. <laughs> Just that initial hit is very funny, but that's a really cool texture as well. Then we've got dark. That reminds me of uh, Dune when they've got the uh, the scolded R. I think it's open as it the scene with all the troops that the Emperor has um, sort of given to the um, what's their name, the Baron. He's given it to the Baron to take over and they're sort of doing that Mongolian throat singing. Reminds me of that. All that foreboding. Reminds me of whale sound. We've got plucks here as well. Really cool. Mine's with um, Seven Nation Army, but I can't remember how he played. That's really mysterious. I'm sort of working in some sort of underwater scene. So there you go. We've gone through quite a lot of what is in Salu. And I have to say, I'm really quite impressed by the range of content that orchestral tools have included here. It's really nice to see such a nice amount of instruments, especially very deep sampled ones. The amount of articulations in some of these instruments is just amazing. And in general, I really do like this library. I think it might be a little bit overpriced 399 euros excluding that so that adds, brings it up to what 
you know, 400, something, 400, nearly 500 euros. At that point, I do think personally it's a bit more on the expensive side. However, the, the uh, process soundscapes are really nice in this library. And if there's something specific you need, you can, of course, get those individual instruments, which is really cool. And I really do like that about Design Player. So if you feel you need one specific thing, you can just pick it up. And the choirs, for me, I think the choirs are just beautiful. I really like the tone of them. And there's some really cool percussion stuff in there. And the vibraphones, that very, really high vibrato, sort of almost broken toy sort of thing. That sounds really, really pretty cool. So there's a lot of really interesting content in this library. Would I recommend it? I'd recommend it if you're doing the sort of music that this library works for. If you're doing that Scandi Noir sort of mysterious stuff, very textural, absolutely pick it up at some point. It's It's got a really nice range of different textural sounds in there, and it works. It's easy, you can get it out of the box, and it just, you know, it has that sound, and it's perfect for it. It's very dry, though, so I'd recommend you have a good reverb, something like Black Hole, the R4, uh, or Cinematic Room, something like that, you know, just something to re make it a bit wetter, because it is a really dry library. And you do have to keep in mind it isn't the sign player. Sign hasn't been really acting up for me as much as it used to. However, your mileage may vary. My computer's very different to most people's. You know, you might have an issue with it or you might not. So do keep that in mind before you end up picking it up. But it is a really cool library. And I want to thank again Orchestral Tools for sending it out to me. It's been really cool to check it out. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty cool library. So thank you for watching. My name has been George Hammond. If you like this video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And of course, thank you again for watching. Goodbye.